Ben sent me this the other day. Uh, incredible salt mines are like another world be beneath our feet. I've already been uh, toying for a long time with the idea that salt mines are also a uh, petrified tree. Now, how, how a tree petrifies to salt, I don't know. But when you see some of this footage, and these, these photos are black and white. Uh, again, I'll leave the links to this. But um, a lot of these places are absolutely mind-boggling and gorgeous. And I didn't even know they existed uh, until quite recently. Um, I, I, I theorized that, that Himalayan salt, because I saw, you know, photographs of it in grain. And, oh, I'll show you some. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Biogeology. Check this out. Uh, salt mountains. Some of you have already seen these pictures, probably. Look at these things. So it's just like a layer, and then it did this for a long time, except for this, which it, it wasn't doing that. It was sort of doing this white stuff, but then, you know, and then we're going to do the dark again. Oh, no, now we're going to do the light stuff, and then we're going to do the dark again. You know, this is what our mainstream narrative is, is that this all just gets laid down over millions of years of time, and you get this beautiful banding. It's like the Earth just keeps changing its mind about what to do, right? Or is this biological in origin? Is it possible that maybe this was part of a tree that grew and, and maybe it's a certain species of tree that when it undergoes petrification, it becomes salt. Um, but these, uh, these salt locations are just astonishingly beautiful. And, um, and, and if you look at this, going back to the whole spelunking titans thing and the root structures of the trees, and, and these, you know, isn't this looking like the exact same thing with the same banding and the same, same descent into, you know, the structure? I think so. And, uh, you know, what is it that's in Shakespeare? There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. <laughs> I think we're just, you know, scratching the surface. This is all salt, apparently. Look at these big blocks of it. But, you know, it's always, when you see the salt mines, which I'm going to show you now, it's it's always got grains just like tree in here. Now, some might want to call this geopolymer. I don't think so. So those are black and white. Let me show you the, the really great, um, really great photographs. So thanks to Ben for sending me this. It was, it was already on my mind to cover this. And, uh, We've been syncing up left and right, and he'll do a live stream and he'll cover something that I already had on my on on the, the list to talk about. So, search for salt mines, and you'll find. Oh no, this is I just bringing this back up to show again. This is from the action action adventure adventure twins. This is this is hard stone, and uh, and this is that uh, which I showed you a moment ago. And then this is looking inside the uh, the salt mines, and this is what you've got here. Look at the look at the grain here. And these these lines are from the the harvesting process. These aren't naturally occurring blocks because if those were laid down as a geopolymer, why the heck would you get this complex tree ring like grain? And uh, and so I I think that this is part of the the mining process that's creating these these lines and you can see what's happening up here and and uh, in Poland apparently there's a, a, a famous mine that you can you can take tours of which some of these pictures are from inside of there these gigantic ginormous caverns look at this you got the straight lines but look at these swirls that's tree growth that's rings those are tree rings I'm, I'm what else would it be? Let's look at that. This is this uh, Polish uh, underground salt mine, and, and you can go in, and they have like restaurants inside of them, and uh, looks like a pretty awesome thing to do. If I'm ever in Poland, I'm going to make that a a, a priority. Um, not so expensive, fifty-four dollars to get in. Kind of expensive, but. <laughs> Look at how gargantuan these are. 
and this is the this is from the the, the drilling uh, process. So you'll see, you might even see the machine here in a moment. So like scooping in with these just big drill. Didn't even know this stuff existed until, you know, in the last year. They've got one that's been converted into a theme park and there's these boats and you can go paddling around on the boats. <laughs> it's wild. I'd pay 50 euros for that or 50 bucks. And again, this is the, the drilling process. And this is that theme park from, from above. It looks pretty awesome. No shortage of salt there. So this is the marble caves. I think these might be in, um, uh, I think it's in, in um, Argentina, if I remember correctly. And, uh, and once again, you're seeing the same kinds of patterns here. And I think that, you know, these tree structures, depending on what the conditions are, are gonna petrify to salt or petrify to sandstone, or petrify to granite, or petrify to marble, and uh, and you know I showed in the last in in one of the last live streams I got deep. Oh, it was the geopolymer video. I got deep into the whole uh, sandstone layering and how that um, ties into sandstone dwellings, geopolymers, and places like Petra. And to me, it's just self-evident that that those are tree. Oh boy. And Ben tells me there's a salt mine in Austria with railroads and canals that has been inhabited for over a thousand years. That's nuts. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, these are these uh, marble caves and um, just more examples of the same. Now is this morphogenic resonance is this the, the what is known as the doctrine of signatures where things just look like things because that's the way the realm works and that's the way nature is and we've got the fibonacci sequence and the golden mean and all these things and and so because of that you know you're going to get this reoccurrence of patterns you got you got monkeys the animals and then you got orchids that look like monkeys and yeah that also happens but using that as a as a way to just hand wave dismiss um, these, you know, these findings and how they relate so perfectly in every single way with trees. And then, you know, you'd have to also dismiss the evidence that that hangman has shown us. Um, I mean, look here, here, this looks like petrified wood. And, and you can see all of these rings. And, you know, it, it's it's like looking at Petra, but it's a different color and it's a different material, but it's the same thing, same, same, but different. And I think it all depends on the the external conditions of, um, you know, that that cause these things to happen. And so here's one more from Ben, I'll, which I'll read. It's just sent me underground village some of the wonders of the famous Krakow Poland salt mine. It is in the remarkable salt mine of Poland, about eight miles from Krakow. It is situated in the midst of a spacious plain, scooped out of one immense bed of solid salt. In various parts of this spacious plain stand the huts of the miners and families, some single and others in clusters like villages. They have very little communication with the world above ground, and many hundreds of people are born and live all of their lives there. A great number of horses are kept there, and when once let down, they never see daylight again. But some of the men take frequent occasions of going up and taking the fresh air. The horses usually grow blind after they have been uh, some time in the, mind, in the mine, but they do as well for service afterwards as before. Among the thousand wonders of this subterranean paradise, the most surprising is that there runs through this place a constant stream of pure, fresh water, sufficient to supply the inhabitants and their houses. Christian at work. So the whole fresh water thing, Ben and uh, the, the archivists, again, if you haven't subbed to his channel, what are you waiting for? Uh, 
the, the archivist in Old World Florida, they've done a number of streams uh, talking about the streams, the, the different underground waters. Florida's apparently got the highest concentration of, of uh, mineral springs in the world with the highest quality waters. It's rich in radium and all kinds of other trace elements and minerals, and it's said to be the uh, location of the Fountain of Youth. Um, there's a couple of really great videos that Old World Florida has done on this recently, uh, looking into this, and incredible footage, wonderful editing and narration uh, from, from uh, Narco Longo. I don't even know his real first name. I, every time I see him, he's got a different name on, on his live stream, so I don't know what his name is. Anyway, um, that I'm just going to post here. This is the Twitter link, um, and I'll put this um, in, in the show notes as well to Ben's Twitter thread. He's got over 10,000 or, or approaching 10,000 different clippings um, on all of these subjects, which we're all touching on in a variety of different ways and directions. And it all seems to be overlapping and dovetailing perfectly. So that's pretty cool. Um, so much of this stuff I knew nothing about until I just started looking at rocks with new eyes. And it's been like one giant rabbit hole that opens up deeper and deeper the further, the further I go.